guys and today it's Tuesday but we're not gonna do a satisfying video because we did a satisfying video last Tuesday today we're going to be doing a my play home uh, I mean sorry sorry I meant we're gonna be doing a my story and watching a my story animated video today and doing a few minutes of one of the games on there I don't know, just want to. Because, I don't know, just to get it going. I mean, just so the video would be a little longer. Because the one that, the one that we're doing is only... Um, seconds, seconds before, before I, was I was about, about, to, about to, step to step onto the, the rink with my skating, skating partner, partner and, and boyfriend, boyfriend Victor, Victor, he turned to me nervously. Are you sure about this? Of course! My name is Quinn for a reason, darling. The crowd went wild as we danced flawlessly. Towards the end of the routine, I skated towards Victor, and he threw me in the air. The stadium went silent as I gracefully spun a few times before landing in his arms. The audience erupted as Victor pulled me in for a kiss. As expected, we ate the competition and left no crumbs. Hi, my name is Quinn, and I was the most popular girl in school and the best figure skater in town. My life was perfect, but then everything changed in the worst way ever. But first, please like and subscribe. Later that night, my best friend Elena arranged a pool party for us at her mansion and invited everyone. You know I hate huge parties, right? Oh, come on, girl. One more competition and you guys are gonna get into the Olympics. We need to celebrate this. Actually, we need to study for our finals next week. Let's forget about everything and have some real fun tonight, babe. Victor jumped into the pool and Elena followed. And, well, I couldn't resist for too long either. But as I was walking towards the pool, I suddenly slipped on something. I felt my head hit the ground and everything went black. When I opened my eyes again, I realized that I was in the hospital. Just then, a nurse came in and she looked shocked to see me awake. She called for the doctor who came running in and started to examine me. When I asked him what was going on, he dropped a bombshell on me. You had a serious head injury and fell into a coma for three years and two months. It's a miracle you're awake and all your functions seem perfectly normal, but I wouldn't recommend skating for a while. And as he went on, I sat there days, letting his words sink in. I'd been in a coma for three years? But what about my career? And everyone had left high school? Who was the US president now? I was having a panic attack. My parents were out of town, but the doctor quickly got them on the phone, and they started shrieking in excitement. Oh my god, you're awake. We're coming home right away, honey. And please, don't meet anyone until we've talked, okay? Love you. But as soon as I got out of the hospital, I asked my driver to take me to Victor's house, and he looked like he'd seen a ghost. Qu Quinn, is that really you? Surprise! Did you miss me? Uh, of course I missed you. I just can't believe you're here. I threw my arms around his neck and lifted my head for a kiss, but just then a girl suddenly appeared behind him. Elena! Bestie! Oh my god, is this for real? I can't believe I've been sleeping for three freaking years! I need to know everything! Um, well, Victor and I had our third sectional win yesterday, and we'll be competing in the national soon. I literally buffered for a few seconds. What the what? She replaced you as my partner a year after your accident. Oh, wow, Th that's great! Elena's pretty good at skating too! I know, right? We make a good team. And, um, one more thing. We're engaged. <laughs> a nice joke, bestie. But I felt like an elephant had slapped me when they both went silent. Oh, you're serious? You're not mad at us, right? I mean, it has been three years. We didn't know if you'd ever wake up. Of course, I understand. I'm happy for you. And then I turned and quickly left in my car, feeling like a zombie. But when I got home, I had a complete meltdown. Soon, I learned that, aside from skating together and being engaged, Elena and Victor were studying at my dream university too. And it felt more painful than 10 toothaches. 
I visited the rink where I'd always practiced, but no one seemed to recognize me anymore. Everyone had moved on, while I'd lost three years, my career, my best friend, and my boyfriend. When my parents finally arrived, they did everything to cheer me up, but I just felt depressed. I had to start all over again, and I didn't know how. Mom convinced me that the first step was to go back to high school and finished it. But everyone my age had graduated, and being the oldest in class was weird, and it just made me miss Victor more. One day I was at the grocery store when I saw Victor and Elena being interviewed on television. It really hurt to see how happy they looked together. I felt like another meltdown was coming, but just then the cashier caught my attention. He was dancing as he worked. So extra. But when he turned around, I saw that he was really cute. To my surprise, he gave me a knowing smile and winked. I just ignored him and walked away. A few days later, I was sitting at a cafe near my school that always played classical music, my favorite. But just then, a guy started playing a loud song on his little speaker, and it sounded so annoying. Suddenly our eyes met, and I realized that it was the extra cute cashier. He walked up to my table, and then started poking my cheek. Excuse me, what are you doing? Sorry, I've been wanting to check if you're real since I saw you at the grocery store. You're just too beautiful for this world. And you're just too cheesy for the whole universe. But at least I made you smile. I'm Derek, by the way. And you? Quinn. Nice name, Quinn. Do you need a king? Nope. I just need you to shut your noisy music off. Hip-hop music is not noise. It's amazing. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. It's you, babe. I wanted to roll my eyes, but I ended up smiling instead. After that, Derek all... Great commercial. Seize the summer. At Raymore and Flanagan, you can save more than twice the Massachusetts sales tax. And another one. always turned up when I was in the cafe, and I enjoyed his company. I learned that he was a working college student who dreamed of becoming a famous hip-hop dancer someday. He was flirty and funny, and a great listener. If your ex really loved you, he would have waited for you. Just forget him. I'm sure I'm more handsome. Maybe. But he definitely dresses better than you. Derek always wore hoodies and jerseys thrice his size. He was the opposite of Victor, who always looked like a prince. Snap out of it, Quinn. He's engaged. One day when I was with Derek, a familiar couple entered the cafe, Victor and Elena. I had to show them that I was doing just fine. As I saw them getting closer, I let out an exaggerated laugh. Oh, <laughs> my boo-boo bear. You're so funny. I want to die. What's so funny about my neighbor's cat dying? But I continued laughing as if an octopus was tickling me. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, my God. Hi. Hey, what brings you two here? <laughs> this guy just can't get enough of me, so he brought me here on a lunch date. I heard you went back to school. Yeah, life goes on, you know. Oh, this is my boyfriend, Derek. He's a hip-hop dancer. Victor suddenly butt in. I thought you hated hip-hop. Not when my boo-boo bear dances to it. He's just the coolest. You really think so? Victor looked rather mad. He was jealous. And I was loving it. They sat at a table across from ours, and I jumped onto Derek's lap and started feeding him french fries. Victor kept looking my way, and Elena looked furious. Soon enough, the lovebirds were having an argument, and they both left. So, I'm your boyfriend now, huh? I'm sorry, that came out of nowhere, but I just had to do it. I didn't want to look like a loser in front of them. I get it. We can continue pretending, you know, to show them. Just be careful, though. You might fall in love with me for real. Oh, trust me, I won't. You're not my type. And just like that, I got myself a brand new boyfriend. And the chance to take him with me came soon enough when I heard about the next skating competition Elena and Victor were participating in. I had to see how good she was. And I was stunned. Elena skated like a pro, and their chemistry was on fire. To make things worse, Victor kissed her after their performance. Suddenly, I just found myself crying. Derek turned to me, and my heart kind of fluttered as he wiped my tears. Remember, you're a queen. You're right. I have to get back on the rink. And this time, I don't need a partner. 
I wasn't allowed to skate yet, but I started training anyway. And I was too stubborn to listen to my parents or Derek who tried to stop me. Even if you're my fake boyfriend, you have to support me. Okay, fine. But on one condition. I have to be with you whenever you practice. I'll protect you. That's my coach's job. Do you even know how to skate? Oh, baby. I'm the breakdancing king. Skating would be a piece of cake. But when he finally got on his skating shoes, I almost died laughing. He looked like a scared baby and kept falling on his butt. Relax. Just trust me and don't let go. I won't. The next minute, he slipped again, but I was quick to grab him. As I pulled him back up, our lips almost touched, which sent my heartbeat racing. But before things could get weirder, my coach arrived, and I felt a bit disappointed. My birthday was in three days, and my parents decided to throw a huge party to celebrate. They invited all their rich friends, including Victor and his parents. It was my chance to show off my new boyfriend to everyone, but I knew what these people were like, and I had to make some changes to Derek. I'll send some stylists over before the party, and one of my cars will pick you up, okay? Oh, okay, sure. See you later then. On the evening of the party, everyone had already arrived when a Lamborghini pulled into the driveway, and my jaw dropped when Derek stepped out. He was wearing a white suit and his hair was brushed up. He looked gorgeous. And clearly, I wasn't the only one who thought so. I introduced him to my parents, and they looked impressed. Everything was going smoothly till they started asking about what his parents did for a living. Thankfully, someone walked in just then to distract them, and I saw that it was Victor. Elena wasn't with him, and I wondered why. Oh, it's been a while, sweetheart. You look even more handsome than before. So perfect for my daughter. Is it too late for you guys to get back together? Mom and her rich friends kept on gushing over Victor, which annoyed me so much. How could they do that in front of my boyfriend? They didn't know he was fake. But suddenly, Derek walked up to the grand piano and asked for everyone's attention. I would like to dedicate this song to my amazing girlfriend, Quinn, the queen of my life. He started playing one of my favorite love songs, and my heart just melted. Everyone was mesmerized by his lovely performance. But just as he finished, his phone started ringing, and his ringtone was a hip-hop song with some embarrassing lyrics. It made everyone's eyebrows shoot up with judgment. As Derek panicked to turn it off, he suddenly crashed into the waiter behind him and ended up with food all over him. As I ran to help him, I heard Victor laugh. <laughs> A few piano tricks and some borrowed clothes can't buy something, like class. It's so obvious that he's not one of us, Quinn. Derek glared at him angrily, and I was afraid the two might break into a fight. So I dragged him out of the party and apologized for everyone's behavior. But you think the same, don't you? That's why you groomed me, to make me presentable. Derek, that was a mistake, and I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. But what about your party? I hate huge parties. Take me somewhere else, please. He took me to a club, and everyone was just looking at him as he danced. I totally understood why. Come on, dance with me. I'm not into hip-hop, but he pulled me onto the dance floor, and we just went wild. As the song ended, everyone clapped for us, and he drew me close. I'm sorry for ruining your birthday. You actually made it better. And before I knew it, I found myself kissing him, and it felt surreal. I couldn't stop thinking about Derek or that kiss all night. But I really had to focus on my skating because I'd entered my name into the next big competition. I had to work hard to get my momentum back and to learn how to dance without a partner. One day while I was practicing alone on the rink, Victor suddenly turned up. What are you doing here? And why were you such a jerk to my boyfriend? Quinn, can we forget about everyone else for a moment? Will you dance with me for old time's sake? I did miss skating with him, so I gave in. Elena. Is that her name? I think so. Want to watch Meerkats without the ads? Oh, am I an ad? Get YouTube Premium. All YouTube, no interruptions. We started dancing together, and it felt so natural. We just knew each other's minds and bodies on the rink, and we fit together perfectly. The other skaters started gathering around to watch us in amazement. As the music ended, we were both out of breath, and suddenly he leaned in and kissed me. But just then, I spotted Derek watching us, and he turned to leave. Derek, no! Wait! As I ran after him, Victor grabbed my hand. Let him go. Come back to me. I miss you. But what about Elena? You're engaged. But I like you more. 
And with you by my side, we can definitely reach the Olympics. Maybe we're just meant to be friends, Victor. We both know we're not. We belong together. I'll wait for you till you come back to your senses, Quinn. I still love you. He was making me so confused. I was getting along really well with Derek, but now he wanted me back and it was messing with my head. But the worst part was that our kiss was all over the news, with speculation that we were getting back together. Derek had stopped showing up in the cafe, so I went to the grocery store one day to see him. What's wrong? Are you avoiding me? No, I just don't think you need me anymore. You got what you wanted. If you're talking about Victor, then you're mistaken. We're not back together. I just can't decide yet. Take your time, but I'm not gonna stick around for you to make up your mind. He's the right choice, trust me. But I like you, Derek, I really do. If that was true, you wouldn't have asked me to try to be something that I'm not. We both know that I don't belong in your world, Quinn. He got back to work and I left. I just wanted to cry. When I got home, a maid told me there was a visitor in my room. I walked in and suddenly someone slammed the door shut and pinned me against it. Elena, what are you doing? Stop messing with my Victor. It's been three years and you need to move on. It's not what you think. What happened in the rank was nothing. Drop the act. I know you're trying to win him back, but he's mine now. Just deal with it. But the next few days, I didn't even think much of Victor. All I cared about was Derek avoiding me, and it was driving me crazy. I could hardly focus on my training, and the competition was in two days. I wanted to quit, but everyone was expecting my comeback. When the big day came, I felt like peeing from nervousness. I scanned the crowd, hoping to see Derek's face, but he hadn't come. Just as I was putting my shoes on in the locker room, Victor came in. I see Derek's not here. I'm happy you sent that loser packing. I knew you couldn't be serious about him. I'll dump Elena tonight too. She's probably gonna cry a lot, which will be annoying, but... Victor, I am serious about him. But even if I wasn't, there's no future for you and me. I don't know why it took me so long to see that you're kind of a jerk. Don't be stupid, Quinn. I am your future. You need me as a partner. No, Victor, I really don't. Being alone has taught me that I can be alone. Just as I pushed him out of my way, we both saw Elena by the door, and she'd clearly heard everything. She went bonkers and attacked Victor, and I ran off grinning. He deserved it. I started my routine feeling confident, and just then, I spotted Derek in the crowd. Suddenly, I felt electrified. I did a few of my best moves, and the judges gave me a standing ovation. I ended up in second place, though, but I wasn't disappointed. I was just starting all over again, and it was a really good start. I didn't expect to see you here. I think you should have come first. You're amazing. Just having you here makes me feel like I won. I missed you, Derek, and I love you just the way you are. Do you really mean it this time? What do you think? I think you need to kiss me to prove it. I leaned in, and just as our lips were about to touch, I said teasingly, you're gonna have to catch me first. Bring it on. Yeah, I think they're together now. There's always happy endings. And now, what we're gonna do is go um, home, and now we're gonna play uh, a few minutes of a game that I have because I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. just want to. Okay, we're gonna play this one. I am pretty good at this game, I think. Okay, get out of my way, boys. You're not gonna stop me. Ha, <laughs> first score. They don't even really try hard enough. Yes! Oh, a tall boy. Eh. Get out of my way, everyone. Because I'm just gonna go in. Gonna get it in. Oh, one boy. That's... Oh. Uh, that was just a practice round. <laughs> See? That was easy. <laughs> get out of my way. I'm gonna score it in. <laughs> Um, 
Oh, it's letting me play it. Um, okay, I'll play it. Uh, okay, so just... Yeah. Ha! Okay, and then I'm gonna do... What? How did that not... Really? It didn't even let me finish? Okay. Well, let's just go back to this game. Really? Only two guys? I should probably get closer. <laughs> only two guys. I will get past them in a snap. Sorry. I'm better snapping with his hand. In a snap. Oh, come on. Really? Two out of four? Mm. I could do better. I just... Uh, I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while because I... <laughs>